Hi, I'm Andreas and I would like to tell you how you can use solar thermal energy in heating and cooling. Residential and commercial users generally install low thermal collectors as a heating facility for swimming pools. A simple solar thermal heater can be composed of a series of black painted pipes layered in an insulated box and framed with glass, plastic or metal panels. Potable water runs through these collectors and into a storage tank. Potable water can be cycled several times into the collectors and back to the tank again to increase water temperature. Thermosiphon Systems uses this configuration. The tank is placed above the collectors and takes advantage of the hot water's natural tendency to rise above cold water. As hot water is drawn out for use, untreated portable water is fed through the collector. Water tanks under the collector need an electric pump to drive the water inside the collector. Such a system needs an antifreeze or anti-corrosive chemical to treat the circum the circulating fluid. A heat transfer fluid is also required to heat the end user's water supply. Low temperature collectors are also used for space heating. This is necessary in colder parts of the world, especially during, during winter season. Huge quantity of electricity is needed and if the building is well designed for solar insulation, a building can be cost and fuel efficient and can provide a comfortable habitat. A simple solar space heating configuration is the installation of a trombe wall. This is an enormous black painted wall and has a double glazed skin to prevent the sun's heat from escaping. UTC or unglazed transparent collectors are perforated sun facing walls used for preheating ventilation. Transparent collectors short payback period of 3 to 12 years makes it a cost-effective alternative to trombe wall and other glaze collector systems. For mechanical space cooling methods, use of absorption refrigeration cycles and dissident, di, dissident cycles are proven methods to promote a cool space. Solar cooking has been used for years in developing countries. A solar cooker is composed of wooden box lined with insulation and covered with a reflector. The reflector concentrates the heat of the sun to the pots which are painted black to maximize heat absorption. The cooking time is relatively slower but is compensated by the lack of fuel cost. This cooking method is normally used in regions with strong and sufficient sunlight. The Scheffler solar cooker configuration is much like concentrated solar power, as it uses a parabolic dish with, with a single axis tracking, that, axis tracking the course of the sun throughout the day. Since the reflector system has a focal point, it can reach high temperatures allowing faster cooking time. Larger Scheffler solar cookers have been in production since 2008. Solar water distillation is useful in regions where clean water is not always available. Solar thermal collectors heat the potable water where it evaporates and condenses at the bottom of the covering glass. Thanks for watching this video. More information on solar energy can be found at solarpanelsbrisbane.info